The residents of Kanyaruboga and Bulembia villages lost homes and property following a fresh bout of rain today that caused River Nyamwamba to overflow. Kilembe Mines Hospital was not spared. Many of the residents have camped on Kilembe Road with nowhere to go. Brigadier Steven Oluka from the office of the Prime Minister confirmed the worsening situation in the whole district. Uh, the situation is obviously bad. The rivers have uh, uh, flooded. They have flooded the areas down there, including areas of Sandera and other villages. The fact that we have to see where people are. Are they habitable places? Are they, uh, you know, uh, observing the issues of uh, basic health practices and so on? Kasesa Municipality Mayor Godfrey Kabianga says the rains are still on with no sign of abating. Too, too, too bad. Because I have two cells which have been destroyed completely. Two villages, Burembi and Kanyarvogo. There is nothing given to rehabilitate. There is nothing given to revive. Completely destroyed. Two cells. So, uh, but we have not yet lost life. At least the good part of it. Kabianga adds that those who live along the riverbanks will be forced to leave. By 7 o'clock today, we shall have forced everybody to leave. It's not an issue now of begging them. It's an issue of someone uh, hesitant to leave, but we shall force people to leave. Kilembe Mines Hospital Administrator Onesmas Kibaya told NTV that more than half of the hospital is gone. We had F and G wards, six rooms, all of them have gone. We had a standby generator which was running the International Credit Trading Laboratory. It has also gone. We had a, a standby transformer of Kilembe Mine Limited in the hospital. It has also been washed away. The, the archive, a house for records, it has also what gone. You are seeing where the, the river is passing now. It is in the heart of the hospital. The hospital is no more. A new hydropower station, the Nyamasagani 2 project that was due to be commissioned soon, has been destroyed. The woman member of parliament for Kasese, Winnie Kiza, took a tour of the area. It's unfortunate that a project which was about to be commissioned in less than a month's time has been washed away as well. It's unfortunate that the people of Kakese who were now celebrating the rural electrification program, we thought we were going to have so many developments now that power is closer to us, we are going back to the darkness. This is the second time in less than a week that floods are causing massive destruction in Kasese district.